Greetings, Ken Syrian. I am hearing for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. And this is your love reading. Something is about to take a turn beautifully for you in love. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. When I saw those two cards when shuffling just now, my energy was like, oh my gosh, wow. Like, this is such a bloomingly beautiful feeling of love and prosperity in your life. This could, be, this is like get, giving me new love energy, new feelings of love, real love, true love, healthy love, beautiful love that you're realizing within yourself. You're realizing that you are true love. So that could be that you are a truly loving person, that you are truly loved. Um, and that someone is out here like choosing you. I'm telling you, right now the emotions are swelling up inside of me. I can feel it going into my heart space as I'm coming to realize that someone loves me. Someone loves you is the energy like you are so full of love. Someone is giving you all of their attention and then some. Someone wants to make money with you. I'm hearing or make moves with you. Someone wants to create fire with you like a passion and heat and um, like fertility energy, virility. Someone is ignited when they think about you. Someone knows for sure, for certain, even though there seems to be a distance in the connection. Someone knows for sure that you are the center of their attention. You are their world. You are their one. Someone is thinking like no matter what you are thinking, even if we are not speaking, you, I just want you to know like you, <laughs> you are the one for me. So let's see who is this person. It could be a past person or someone you've met before in some way or seen or someone that has seen you. I hear risen. I feel like this is a person that you met after you've done some healing or you took back your power and you were very, you were shining, you were beautiful, glowing from the inside out. No wonder this person was like so captivated by you and still is and so attracted to you. You just look wonderful, healthy, beautiful. This person, they want to capture you. They want to take you away. No, I heard some words just now. You've really captured someone's attention. So those words I heard, I'm going to do um, put them up over on my TikTok. So yeah, and there's so, like you are someone's for real person, for true, forever. Their dream come true, their north star. Like <laughs> you are someone's one for sure. This card says, I feel well. Whenever this person is thinking about you, they think of you like a star in the sky. There's their moment. <laughs> like this person is standing and talking with their friends or family and you are their big dream. I'm, t it's, I'm getting a movie star energy too. This person, not for one minute. It's like they want you to know that not for one second or minute did they stop like desiring you, wanting you and thinking that you are the one for them. Just this person is like, hmm, you don't know, like, but you can tell the way how they look at you. So the card says, twin flame, new, new vision, feeling well. This person wants to got to you. Oh my gosh, look at this card. The K word, you know, K in, you know, sitting in a tree. This is what they think about always. If you knew, if you could read this person's mind, you'd know what is even on their heart. The way how they think about you and long for you. This person, they're thinking of being more spiritually prepared for you, more mature emotionally for you. They want to like become better, more more everything for you. King of Cups energy. This, These are the feelings that is growing and developing in someone for you because of you. Because they want to be with you. Because they want to be with you in a relationship. They want to be your partner. They want to be your... Um, they want to be your co-partner. There's another word. You know? Your significant other. Your your next half. They want to, to be around you. Okay? This is a new person. Look, Queen of Cups. The King of Cups and the Queen, Queen of Cups. So this person is thinking that they want to be... Um, qualified to be your mate so they're watching you they're studying you and they have not given up on you this person I keep wanting I keep wanting to tell you that their energy is like just you wait and see like you think that um, 
like they, they're just like they're not saying anything to you but they have plans for you that is their energy <laughs> so they look at you with these um <laughs> the, the way that this person looking at you it's mesmerizing it's out of this world if you could just read their mind wow okay now we have the three of swords i'm feeling someone is feeling sad though because they're not with this person so wow this is unexpected for me right now in this energy there's somehow a, a missing or a lacking on, going on here someone is hurt someone is feeling like hurt so i'm gonna try to figure out this this is the three of swords someone is feeling like someone did not choose them or someone ghosted them so someone is really feeling um really like bad wow i hear excuses Someone is feeling like after all of that, that we, after all of that development, that good information, that good moment, the good times, it meant nothing or something like that. That is how someone may be feeling. So someone has turned away now and is like with themselves. Someone is alone and single and like feeling sad and reflecting. Like someone is feeling like they thought that they would have had you or this is you thinking that you would be you would be with someone so it breaks someone's heart. Hard not yeah, this is saying hard not having you, this card, nine of swords. Like this person they're having sleepless nights and it they're really feeling the lonesomeness. Two of swords. This person is thinking now of a plan. Cancer. This person could be a Cancerian as well. They think or it's someone's father too. They're thinking, they have not given up. They're thinking of a plan to come back. Or they're thinking of, they're trying to find a way. They have not given up, I'm telling you. What if you feel like there was a connection that you lost or that you feel like you cannot do without, someone is, yeah, someone is going to pull it off. Strength card is next. This is bigger than we know. This is some, something great is happening in love. That is why. I feel like that is why. Look, someone is about to show up. That's the first card I pulled. Show up. That is why you're going to be saying, oh my gosh, wow. Because this is unexpected. This is like a roller, a roller coaster situation. It's like a ride. Because I hear beauty. It's like someone is beauty. Like beauty and the beast are sleeping beauty. It took a while for someone to be able to control their energies or to get things right. I hear vehemence and success. Someone was holding on to some energies, but it's so powerful, it's going to be resolved. So it's like a roller coaster because we started off so beautifully, so that could have been the energy of this connection. And then there was this third party energy or some sadness, betrayal, or let down, or hurt, and tears. And now we're back up because like we're up again so that's why this is a surprise it is unexpected where someone felt like they lost a connection that was too good to be true and this person is like listen i had no intention of losing you i had no intention of this not working out in i'm telling you you've got someone is gonna show up i hear rabbits or ribbits you did not expect with the magician card of strength someone is pulling a trick out of the hat they've been really really thinking about it maybe they were planning on like meeting you somewhere and they've been praying and asking god most high for guidance dreaming oh my gosh someone is so into you the, this could be someone's mother or the connection that this is like divine feminine energy. This is how someone is feeling about you. They, it's like, it, it may sound weird to you in some way, but this person is feeling like they feel connected to you like a mother would or a father. Okay? It's real love. Someone just wants to come and get you. Like, so they're thinking, um, you could be across the sea because this person is like, they're thinking of how to be, how to not be stuck. If they've got to build a rafter and come and find you, that's what they're going to have to do. So if there's a disconnection now, someone is just really thinking of what to do, what they need to do. The devil card. Oh my gosh. I hear Capricorn. Um, compromise. Moon card. So something was compromised and someone is about to compromise with this devil card here. Something about June or Juneteenth and someone just cannot wait long enough. Yeah, someone is going to send a letter. 
a love letter, perhaps something sealed so that you know that it is from them. And for some of you, this is um, money I'm getting to or some inheritance. I hear cave with that. Oh my gosh, this person is like seriously into you. It's with the devil card right there. All right, someone is wow. This this one, the um, number seven. Someone is someone is even thinking of proposing, tying the knot. Someone is thinking what I need to do to show you that I'm committed to you. Someone went back to in went back to something in their past and undid it so that they can be with you. So they may be leaving a karmic energy behind with the devil card and the three of swords. They're trying to figure out a way how to separate from something so that they can find, get it right to be with you. This person, they don't want to leave you alone. They're going to show up. They're going to show up. They And they're going to show up tirelessly or reckless. I don't know. Yeah. They may show up with flowers, with gifts ready to propose. Yes. Okay. Something about the dress as well. Or a girl. This person, they want to tell you that you don't have to worry about anybody else, anyone else. It's just you. It's you. It's you and me. Uh, that's how someone is feeling about you. I'm, I don't know why this person is so into you. Someone is just committed to you. They want to come after you. They want to complete you. They feel like you complete them. It makes sense. They feel like it makes sense. They want to hear what's going on in your mind. They want to hear your story. They want to talk with you. This person, they want to have deep talks with you. They want to sit and hear all that you've been through. It's like for the first time, you're going to feel like someone is going to say, Tell me, the things that you thought were too much to speak about. I could cry, yo. Someone is going to have space for you. You're going to sit underneath a tree at, at night with this person. And you may start to tell them something from your past that you've healed. That you no longer want to cry about or talk about in the same way. So that is also why you're meeting this person. Because you are ready to share these stories now. You're not really looking for someone to got you. So you've manifested someone that is prepared for. To have to get you. To understand you. Because you figured out some of the things that happened in your toxic past. You've got, and so you, you, you found answers for yourself. So you're going to find this person coming around and is like, just tell me. Just so what was that about? What was that like? How did that feel? And they will sit and listen to you and feel you. That, this person will come around as if this is what they came into your life for. Because you will wonder... Even if this is a masculine energy, you know, this is a person that's attentive. They're going to listen to you. They're going to feel like they are here to, to fix you. Not that you're broken, but they're here to hear the words of your heart. They're here to hear your story, hear the frequency of your vibration, how you feel about certain things, where your hiccups are, where, where are the frequencies in you that are damaged and need fine-tuning. And this person, they want to work it all out with you. And they have what they have it inside of them, okay? They have what it takes. The wheel of fortune is next. I'm not playing, all right? You're gonna realign with this person, or you're aligning with them. They're gonna come through, show up. It's gonna be one of the best things that you could ever feel. And I'm also getting it could feel like a blessing and a curse because it's it's about to get real with someone you and this person um, all i know is that someone is determined to find you to reconnect with you and um for some this is a father energy showing up they've been asking about you um trying to pinpoint what's going on with you then we have this transition card of death cancerian energy so i'm for sure certain that you are going through you're turning a new leaf a, a blank slate um for sh you've paid some debts you um earned your new venture you're showing up for yourself in your life you're being blessed fortunate lucky you've paid your dues you're ready for what is new father uncle is what i'm hearing now and i hear press maybe someone's name i love you you could be dealing with a capricorn a Pisces, a Cancer, and a Scorpio, a Leo energy too. 
and someone's father. I keep hearing. We may do a reading for, for fathers. Yeah, this person wants their regret. Someone is just so shamed and regretful about how they did not see your value. They may be crying or feeling sad. So you may have put up some boundaries, protected your emotions, your psychic, uh, your psych, hey, your psych, something, um, protected your thoughts, your energy. So not let someone um, enter life. I'm also, I hear Queen Madonna. I'm also getting tan tangled where this girl was taken for granted for her powers. You escaped that. So now you're more cautious about letting people into your life. So yeah, you, it's like we can see that you've been through some situation where you were kept and treated unfairly. So yeah, yeah, so you stood up for yourself, Five of Swords. And I hear that someone did not like that. Someone didn't like that you spoke some truth and you broke some karmic spells and you, you undid. Or someone did not like that someone was showing up to help you to heal and to, to remove curses and spells and karmic ties and separating from toxic karmic relationships. And now you are free. You have freed yourself is what I'm seeing. And someone wanted to keep you stuck here. Someone is angry, cancerian at your evolution. At your development. Because remember we have the two of swords here. The two of swords is my ninja card. Where you are able to outsmart a situation and get through. Someone did not think that you would escape this toxic karmic situation of devil. They thought that they would always have you codependent. Relying on them. You know wanting from them. Needing them. But that changed. Wheel of Fortune. You got a break. And you put your best self forward. It's like you had a rebirth energy. All of this hurt, damaged version of yourself that was stuck in mud. It's like it just tore that off of you. And underneath that was a brand new dress. A makeover by just ripping off the external. You made this powerful shift. Five of Pentacles. Financially, emotionally, in your wealth. Um, in your stance, your standards, your groundedness, your belief in yourself. You leveled up. Financially, spiritually, emotionally. And someone did not expect that. All right. So this person, I hear blaspheme. I hear curse. This person is so mad that things are reversing now. Karma. Karmic. Nine, yeah, nine of swords. You are healing. That's what's going on. You are healing. So this is all that. This is why this, the person that really loves you, that is maybe why they're hanging back. Because you were fighting some spiritual battles. You are healing and you are a healer. And this person is working for you and praying for you as well. They're showing up. And both of you, I feel, are successful in your endeavors to meet and to connect and to, to overcome your limitations or whatever is blocking you. So whatever was trying to keep you separated, you've both defeated it. Okay, that's the energy. With the, with the strength of and the will and the intent and the focus and the love that you feel for one another. It broke someone out of a spell. It made you choose yourself. It made you love yourself. It made you want better. Someone made you want to love yourself better. Someone made you want to ask for more. Someone made you love yourself and broke you out of a lesser connection. So that you can live to love again and to be really loved and appreciated and to be in a healthy, thriving connection that you yourself is going to be surprised by. You are going to surprise yourself. You're going to be saying, wow, when you look at your life next. And there's someone that is in disbelief. They're looking at you and saying, wow, this could be an ex. I hear forgiven or forgiveness. They're going to be saying, well, because they didn't expect you to transform so beautifully. Because they thought that they shattered you. They thought that they marred you, scarred you. They thought that you would be um, full of <laughs> all kind of discrepancies. But you're wholesome. You're glowing even. You have much to give. You are repaired. You're not damaged. So it's surprising someone that is feeling damaged. And this person, they may some you may see them some karmic energy. I hear police and soldier. However, thanks for tuning in. Get
get some sleep, pray, speak up, work on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra. You're leaving, um, you're moving on into a new life. You're writing a new story. There's love showing up in this new journey, like real love, true love, self love, and a person that is has been waiting for you to. You're gonna see that they didn't, they never did give up on you, whoever this is. So I'm getting that fire sign too. So take care, much love, all the best, and thanks for your support. I'll catch you in the next one. Much love, all is well, and all is within you.